Lane red and black is going to get the football first. Here come the Blazers. There's the smoke, and you hear the crowd on this afternoon. It's a breezy Saturday afternoon in October for football. Valdosta State University style at an amusement park this afternoon called Baysmore Hyder Stadium. We're going to send one man standing back deep right at the goal line. Here's the kick. We're underway. Valdosta State's Montrell Mitchell will take it at the 3, to the 5, to the 10, to the 15. He's tripped up, knocked down at the 21-yard line, falls forward. It'll be first and 10 for the Blazers at their own 21-yard line. Let's see what this offensive machine of the Blazers can do with it. Lance Funderburg under center. Got a motion man to this side. That's going to be Vontrell Mitchell. Funderburg, deep drop, looking to throw. Immediately got his man, Sean Pinder, going to catch it into the 23 and takes it to the 26-yard line. Second and five out at the 27-yard line. Balls on the far side hash. The Black Hats working to the right end of Baysmore Hyder Stadium. Funderburg again going to stay on the ground of Vontrell. Vontrell's going to slide across the 30 to the 31-yard line. Very close to a first down. Now Funderburg in the shotgun for the first time today. Takes the snap, it's a high snap, he controls it. Looking to throw over the middle, it's gonna be in and out of the hands of Rocket Rodney Brown, almost right into the hands of Gerald Smith. They're gonna rush 10 people. 10 people are coming, let's see what they do. Here's Wayne Devane, gets a good snap, puts it up and away with the right foot. The wobbly kick, Deal's gonna field it at the 32, straight ahead to the 35, we miss him twice, now a flag's down at the 37 yard line. Two tacklers missed him, but flags down back at the 34. Hogan and Demetrius Shelton will see both of them in quarterback this afternoon. High set, going to give to the tailback out of the eye. He's going to take it off the right side. Blazers knock him down at the 27-yard line. 12.52 to go in the first quarter. No score. North Alabama and Valdosta State. Same eye set. This time, first man through is going to get the football and take it near the 30-yard line. Third down, five yards to go. Let's see if they can convert on third down. Going to keep it. Now the option, the veal. Veal at the 30, at the 35. Going to be hit hard, and he slides forward to the 40-yard line. First down, North Alabama. 12 minutes to play in the first quarter. No score. Now he wants to throw. First time this afternoon. Got a man. It's Michael Edwards going to catch the ball at the 47. He'll be tackled immediately, but not before he did some damage there. Under center. Now they're going to go to A.J. Lamar, and Lamar got hit hard. And I don't know if he got it or not. He may have fallen forward. Let's see. I don't think he got it. A.J. Lamar and Veal in the backfield. Your quarterback is Charles Hogan. Hogan going to hand it off right side. A.J. Lamar again, and he'll right on the midfield stripe. He'll get the first down. Richard Freeman made the stop on Lamar for the Blazers. At the 50. Hogan at the controls. Blazers with a four-man front. High backfield again, Hogan wants to throw, comes out near side, Michael Edwards again going to catch the ball, and then after he caught it, he'd get three more yards. Another first down for the Lions, they're marching methodically down the field. Hogan again, rolling right, wants to throw down the field, got hit as he threw, going for Edwards, going to be tipped up in the air and almost picked off. 9.45 to go in the first quarter. No score, Lions and Blazers. Here's Hogan under center. Blazers rush four. Going to give it right side. A.J. Lamar at the 25, to the 20, to the 15. We sling him down at the 10-yard line. First down, North Alabama. The Lions have marched it all the way down the field, and Hogan has done a brilliant job of mixing the run and the pass. He's got Lamar and Beal in the backfield. Going to give it off to Lamar. Lamar straight ahead, takes it across the 10 to the 8-yard line. 8.45 to play in the first quarter. Now it'll be second down. They can get a first down then at the two-yard line. Second down and six yards to go. Back out at the eight-yard line. Hogan's going to look over that VSU defense. We rush four. Hogan on the option. Takes it to Veal. Veal at the 10. Veal at the 5. Veal spins to the three-yard line. North Alabama at the four-yard line of Valdosta State. Balls on the far side hash. Here's Charles Hogan. Hogan is going to keep it himself. Goes straight ahead, maybe for a yard. Now he's still on his feet, but they say his knee had touched. Kicker Kevin Pierce, he's two for six on field goals. This will be a 21-yard attempt. The kick is up, and the kick is good. Three to nothing, North Alabama. Here's the kickoff by the Lions of North Alabama. Going to be a short kick, and Rocket's going to back up, and he's going to come up and take it right at the goal line to the five, to the 10, cuts it across the field, at the 15, and smothered by the Purple Hats right at the 15-yard line. Here's the kickoff again by the Lions, five yards further back. Should get good field position. Montrell, however, is going to let it go over his head and into the end zone. It'll be a touchback. First and 10 at the 20. Hunterberg's got Sean Pinder wide to the left side. Nico Cooper's also a wide out on the left side. He just went short this time, however, to Terrell Andrews. He'll catch it and be tackled immediately at the 16, maybe getting one on the play. 
Butterberg rolls right, pumps once, looks back across the field. Got a man, can he get enough norm? No, it's going to be picked off. Now he drops it. It was picked off, and then he dropped it out at the 32-yard line. It'll be third down. And the Blazers now looking to go long. Got to get it out of there. Over the middle. Got him. Going to catch it. Terrell Andrews at the 35-yard line. Now we got first down. First set of downs. Hunterberg wants to throw, rolls right over the middle, got a man, he's going to throw it over the head. We got trips on the right side, we got one Nico Cooper on the left side. Deep drop by Funderburg, throws the screen over the middle. Got Sean Pinner, going to catch it and take it to the 43-yard line. Sean Pinner's going to pick up eight on the play. It'll be third and two for the Blazers. We go into no huddle offense. Funderburg's already under the center. He's got Nico Cooper and Sean Pinner on the left side. One lone setback behind him. He's got two wideouts on the right side. They jump off sides to penalty. We get a free play. We throw it down the field. and continue to throw the football. Under five minutes to play in the first quarter. Lions lead three to nothing over the Blazers. Funderburg in the shotgun. And Pinder on his left hand. He's got Montrell Mitchell on his right. He's going to hand off to Montrell. Tries to cut it outside. He's going to be swung down at the 25-yard line. Second and 13 for the Blazers at the 25-yard line. Here's Funderburg looking down the line. Nico Cooper on the left side as one of the wideouts. Nico wearing that red vest underneath his Jersey today, but we stay on the ground of Vontrell and a late flag in there after Vontrell takes it back to the 23-yard line. Four down line for the Lions. Three linebackers. We fake the run. Go right side to Pinder. Pinder on the short one. Can't get out of there. Here come the Lions, and they pull him down at the 33-yard line. Now Valdez has stayed with the football. Long third down play. Going to throw it down to Nico. He's there in the 10. First down. Blazers all. Nico is just under the football, just waiting and waiting and waiting, and I thought the Lions were going to get over there, but Nico gathers it in. First down. Here's Funderburg under center this time. He's got Carlos Brown and Vontrell Mitchell in the backfield. Nico Cooper comes in motion to the home side of the stadium. We're looking right all the way. Now he looks back left. Now he's got some time. Over the middle throws to his short man. Carlos Brown incomplete at the five-yard line. 2.47 to play in the first quarter. Here's Funderburg under center again. You got the Rocket coming to the near side in motion. Funderburg wants to throw. Deep drop. Looking, looking, looking. Over the middle. Going to be incomplete at the 8-yard line. Third and 10 at the 12. Blazers trail 3 to nothing to the Lions of North Alabama. Got to look into the sticks now. Over the middle. Going to be the short one's going to be caught by Vontrell, but he's only going to take it right to the 10-yard line. The Blazers, they set up off alignment, and then they came back up and set right in front of the kicker. Wayne Devane's going to hold it. Doubt it's going to kick it. It'll be a 27-yard attempt. Let's see what he does right in the middle of the field. It is up, and it is good. We're tied at three with 1.58 to play in the first quarter. North Alabama and Valdosta State. You hear the Blazer fans come to their feet here as the VSU gets ready to kick off for the first time this afternoon. Paul McCall is going to kick off for VSU. He kicks it short. They're going to fumble it, then pick it up at the 18, take it to the 20, to the 25-yard line. They're going to stick with Charles Hogan at quarterback. And now they got the power eye back there. He dropped another guy. They're going to go this time to Veal. Veal on the right side at the 30, 35, 40. Veal at the 45, near the 50-yard line. Finally pushed out of bounds on the far side of the field. Boy, Veal got up a whole head of steam. Charles Hogan has got A.J. Lamar and Jason Veal behind him. A little slot back on the left side. Michael Edwards split wide to the left side. This time he wants to throw. Hogan's going to go down the field. Going to be incomplete. And flags are down. Hogan's going to be under center. High backfield behind him. A.J. Lamar is going to take the football. Got a flag down again. He's going to take it to the 33-yard line. Now the holding call. It is against North Alabama. And they mark off the 10 yards. We haven't seen Demetrius Shelton. We expect to see him before the afternoon gets much older. Got A.J. Lamar behind him. He's going to fake it and roll left. Look to throw the ball. Got a man down there. It's Edwards. He's going to not catch the ball. Oh, Edwards was there. Man-on-man -oh -man coverage with Jelana Clayton. Here's Hogan. Hogan's going to roll left. Wants to throw the football out to the right side. Going to be caught. This time he throws it down to the 24-yard line. First quarter, we got a 3-3 tie. Now they've changed quarterbacks. Demetrius Shelton gets his first call of the afternoon. Shelton is the option. Quarterback gets it hard by the Blazers. And oh, my. Welcome to Valdosta, Georgia. Eight seconds to go in the first quarter. We're tied at three. Here's Hogan looking at the clock and also going to roll right. Wants to throw down the field. Got his man out there. Going to reach for it. Does Michael Edwards catch it? No, he does not. Charles Hogan starts second quarter action for the Lions of North Alabama. They change into the field. Hogan wants to throw the ball. We get a hand on him and knock it down to the 31. Blazers' second attack. 
comes hard. The kicker is Kevin Pierce. Pierce has already hit one today. It will be a genuine bona fide try. It is up and it is short. Blazers get a hold with 14.07 to play in the first half. And the Blazer offense comes out on the field and congratulating their defensive teammates who are still tied. They got six men right at the line of scrimmage now. Funderburg, deep drop, wants to throw, comes over the middle, got his man, going to catch the ball. Taylor at the 35, up to the 40-yard line, down to the 43-yard line. First down, Valdosta State University. John Taylor, the sophomore, tight end. Nico Cooper comes wide to the left side. He's got Rocket Rodney Brown up top. To stay on the ground this time, Carlos Brown, the freshman from Valdosta, bangs across that right tackle to near midfield, right at the 50-yard line. Tied at three, Valdosta State in North Alabama. Here's Funderburg. Looks like he wants to change the play at the line of scrimmage. Brown's in the slot on the left side. Nico Cooper wide to the left side. We stay on the ground and grin. Here's Montrell Mitchell going to bounce to the inside. Take it to the 46-yard line. Here's Funderburg in the shotgun. Funderburg's got Vontrell on the left side. Carlos Brown on the right side. This time short drop. Throws it down the field. Got the rocket down there. He runs under. the eight. First and goal for the Blazers. Funderburg's going to be under center. Got Vontrell and Carlos Brown in the backfield. Now got a motion man, Nico Cooper. Doubles back to the home side of the stadium. Long time with a snap cap. Going to hand off to Carlos Brown, the freshman from Valdosta. Lost the football. We dive on an end zone. Touchdown. Valdosta State University. Keith Cooksey dropped on the fumble in the end zone and Cooksey scores a touchdown for the Blazers. Touchdown. Valdosta State University. your heart stopped there when you saw that big skin rolling free in the end zone and Cooksey saw it before anybody else and dived on it. Gee Willikers, this is what you live for. Here's the kick, it is up and it is no good. He missed the extra point. Charles Hogan will be back at quarterback. We saw Shelton on one play. Hogan's going to hand off to A.J. Lamar. Lamar straight ahead, takes it to the 24-yard line. This would be a huge win, folks. I don't have to say that. I mean, it's, it's an understatement just to even say that. I backfield again. They're going to go second man through this time and knock him down at the 25-yard line. Charles Hogan under center. This time he's going to option, goes left side, wants to keep it himself. Hogan's going to drop the football. Valdosta State's going to come up with it. No, they say it goes the other way. Let's see. The officials haven't made a sign yet. It looks surely like the Black Hats were going to jump on that football. 10-10 to go in the first half. Blazers lead it 9-3. Charles Hogan on the option, comes this side, got his man Jermaine Roberts. Roberts tries to turn the corner at the 35, we're going to come in hog time and knock him down at the 34. E.J. Lamar and Jermaine Roberts in the backfield. Michael Edwards split wide to the left. They're going to go to Jermaine Roberts, straight ahead, running room at the 50 to the 49 of the Blazers. They're inside Blazer territory at the 49-yard line. Hogan is going to fake it, and then he tosses, option left side. Jermaine Roberts at the 45 to the 41-yard line. Pushed out of bounds on the far side. Over there making the stop for the issue is Archie Lewis. Lasers showing five men at the line of scrimmage this time. Second down, a yard and a half to go at the 41-yard line. They're going to go to Veal. We tried to strip it away. Charles Hogan calling the signals. Going to go to A.J. Lamar. We tackle him immediately. It's at the 38-yard line. First and 10. They got three men in the backfield. Harry Holloway, the slot backs, lined up with A.J. Lamar and Jason Veal. Option wants to throw out to the right side. Going to be caught. On the near sideline at the 30-yard line, got it up to Michael Edwards. It'll be second and one at the 29-yard line of Valdosta State. Hogan, option, left side, got Jason Veal. Veal at the 30, he'll get the first down at the 25, dives to the 22-yard line. Blazers lead it 9-3. Hogan came on last week and directed four consecutive touchdown drives. Hogan's going to give it to A.J. Lamar. Lamar's got an open space and going to take it inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. We're just having trouble tackling people. Motion man is Holloway, the slot back. Blazers move around. They're going to give it to A.J. Lamar. Lamar's going to take it straight ahead and gets absolutely nothing. The 5-yard penalty marked off against the issue. Now that's the state's defense with his back against the goal line now. And here come the purple hats from the Shoals. A.J. Lamar, Jason Veal in the backfield. They're going to option out to Jason Veal. Veal cuts it up at the five. Does he get in? He's right down at the one-yard line. Did not get in. 
Hogan at the controls. Hogan's going to give to A.J. Lamar. He just walks into the end zone. Touchdown, Lions. Here's the kick. It's up, and it is good. Lions take the lead, 10-9. Carson Rocket will kick off for the Lions of UNA. Valdosta State's going to have Vontrell Mitchell back at the five-yard line. End over end kick going to be taken by Von Trell. He comes up and feels it at the 18 to the 20 to the 25 to the 27 yard line and knocked down at the 27. Takes the snap. Play fake. Comes near side over Rocket. Rodney Brown catches it at the 25. He's going to take it to the 30 yard line. Here's Funderburk in the shotgun. His team trails at 10 to 9. High snap. Going to hand off to Carlos Brown. Brown at the 35. Takes it to the 38 yard line. It should be another Valdez to State University first down. Got two receivers on the left, he wants to throw, got some time. Looking over the middle, going to be intercepted by the Lions at the 42. Takes it to the 40, 35, 30, 25, 20. Went in and out of the hands of Valdez to the State University receiver, and then Greg Chandler, the linebacker, picks it off for the Lions. And UNA has the football only 21 yards away from touchdown territory. Charles Hogan pulling the trigger and doing it very adeptly this afternoon for Bobby Wallace's Lions. The Blazers took a 9-3 lead, and then the Lions came back. Now they get it on the turnover. Blazers throw the intercept. Hogan's going to get to A.J. Lamar. Bounces it off left tackle, takes it down to the 20-yard line. It'll be a second down and seven yards to go, down at the 18-yard line of the Blazers. Charles Hogan. And a handoff, second man through his veal. Veal at the 15, going to have three Blazers wrap him up and then bring him down back at the 17. Here's Hogan on third and three, goes to A.J. Lamar, straight ahead. Lamar is just going to pound straight ahead. Fourth down, can the Blazers hold him? Fourth and a foot. Blazer fans rise to their feet. They're going to go to A.J. Lamar, first down, touchdown. A.J. Lamar went untouched off the left side, and the Lions have stretched out the lead a bit. Snaps a good one, kicks up, and the kick is good. Here's Rocket with the kickoff. Going to be low line drive. They try the onside kick. Blazers are going to field it at the 43-yard line. Good idea by Bobby Wallace, but the Blazers are able to put hands on it. Here's Funderburg. And Carlos Brown and Vontrell Mitchell in the backfield. Wide outs left and right. Nico Cooper to the near side. Deep drop. Looking to throw. Looking near side all the way. Now back over the middle. Got a man going to catch the ball. It's Nico at the 44-yard line of North Alabama. First down, VSU. No huddle offense for the Blazers. Funderburg's going to be in the shotgun. Three-step drop. Looking over the middle. Got a man. Nico again going to catch it at the 25. Side steps one defender and takes it to the 20-yard line. First down, battle does to stay. We go to Nico twice on the near side, and we get two first downs out of it. 41 ticks to go in a hand. Here's the snap, Thunderbird, three-step drop, looking over there. There's Sorrell, going to catch it in the four, and the out of bounds. First and goal, Val does to stay. Here you go, zip, zip, zip. We're right down the field, knock it on touchdown's door. Thunderbird in the shotgun. He's got Von Trell on his left and Carlos Brown on his right. Rodney Brown comes in motion to the near side. You hear the Blazer fans make some noise in the background. Wants to throw into the end zone and got to be an interference call, but no. 30 seconds to go in the first half. Blazers trail at 17 to 9, but threatening with numbers on the board here. The Rocket comes in motion again. Here's the snap to Funderburg. Funderburg looks to throw over the middle. Going to be in and out of the hands at the one-yard line of Rodney Brown. In the backfield, Von Trell and Carlos Brown. In the shotgun, here's Funderburg. Need numbers, trailing 17 to 9. Looking left all the way. Funderburg back over the middle. Going to be incomplete. Almost picked off by North Alabama. Fourth and goal at the four. We get it down there via the airways, but then misfired on three consecutive passes. And now Dowdett's going to try to kick his second field goal of the afternoon with 20 ticks on the first half clock. Devane looking for the snap. Gets a good one. Now he fakes it. Devane rolling left. Wants to throw. He'll be tackled back at the 18-yard line. It was all, it was a fake all the way. He rolls out of there, and then players converge on him. Eight seconds to go in the first half. Hogan's going to come in and probably just put a knee down, and that will be the end. Now he's going to give it to big A.J., and A.J.'s going to bounce into the line. Trailing 17-9 at halftime to the three-time defending national champion.
of Alabama comes up. They're going to keep Hogan at quarterback. Got a motion man to this side of the field. Going to stay on the ground again. They'll go to Veal. Veal gets his legs tucked out from under him back at the 17-yard line. Ryan Branch is there. And then coming in for the kill blow is Jesse Sutton on second down, 12 yards to go. Hogan's going to hand off left side. Hit immediately by the Blazers at the 16-yard line. Oh, you love it. You just love to see that ball carrier smacked by the guys in the black hat. Edward split wide to the left side, got a motion man to the near side. It's going to be an option, wants to throw down the field and going to be caught by the slot back. Does he catch it inbound? Yes, he does at the 34-yard line. And Valdez to state coaching staff. Can't believe it. First and 10, North Alabama after the big third down conversion. They're at the 32-yard line of UNA. Hogan's going to go first man through. A.J. Lamar with Dragon down at the 40-yard line. Charles Hogan is going all the way at quarterback except for one play. This time he's going to hand off again to Lamar. He's going to stretch out. It's another first down for the Purple Gang from Florence. First and 10 at their own 43-yard line. Blazers send five people. Hogan on the option to Veal. Veal on the outside. Got tackled in the open field. Beautiful tackle back at the 41-yard line. Second and 12 for North Alabama. 17-9 your score. UNA in the lead. Blazers rush only four. High backfield set for North Alabama. Slot back on the right side. Hogan wants to throw. Dead dunk up in the air. Turn around, somebody. High backfield. Got Edwards split wide to the right side. Blazers going to rush four. 11-29 to play in the third quarter. Valdez to State trailing 17-9. This time Hogan wants to throw again over the middle. Got the slot back again on the left side of the 50. 45, 40. Cuts back at the 38-yard line and wrestled down. First down, North Alabama. Hogan just seems to pull one out of his head. Lions get the second half kickoff and are moving smartly. Here's the pitch to Michael Edwards on the end of the round. Edwards looking to get out of there and he'll be knocked down back at the 49-yard line. There for Valdez to stay in on the stop is Corey Wee. Second down and 22 yards to go. Under center is Charles Hogan. Hogan's got two men stacked behind him in the eye. Slot on the right side. Hogan with the pitch. Gets it out to Veal. Veal's going to kick it at the 50 to the 45. Cuts back at the 40. Scrambles to the 39-yard line. Let's see what he does this time. Wants to throw. Oh, now he's knocked out. Going to be knocked out at the 44. Valdez to State University comes in and pulls him down. Jack Hall, a sophomore from Moultrie, makes the huge stop on Charles Hogan. And North Alabama's going to have to kick it away. Baggioni will punt it from his own 47-yard line with the right foot very high up in the air. North Alabama hoping for a coffin corner type kick. They let it roll, and they're going to get that absolutely perfect. I mean, they could not have scripted it any better. They're going to let it die down at the 3. 17 to 9, North Alabama over the fourth ranked Blazers. Hunter Burke's got his two backfield mates lined up in the end zone. He wants to throw out to the right side. Rocket Rodney Brown's going to catch it at the goal line, and he tackled right at the one yard line. Actually lost a couple of yards on the play. Northern trails it 17 to 9 to the Lions of UNA in the end zone. Funderburg throws it on right side, going to be caught by the Rocket at the 10. And a scramble forward maybe to the 11 yard line. All kind of purple hats around the football. Sean Fender in the shotgun. Play fake, rolling into the end zone, wants to throw back across his body. Now he's going to have to run for it across the 10. Flags down, takes it to the 14. Oh, what a huge play right here. Montrell Mitchell in the end zone. Thunderbird, three-step drop, looking and looking down the field. Got a man there, and he overthrows him. Oh, he had him down there. John Taylor was there. 6.23 to go. Devane is going to have, if he puts his back foot out, he'll be out of bounds. He gets a good snap, puts it up with the right foot, and away. North Alabama, Jason Beal going to catch it at the 45. Going to the other side, got a lot of purple hats in there. Cuts it to the outside at the 35, at the 30. Heads back upfield at the 25, and he'll be down inside the 25 at the 24-yard line. Valdez to State able to bring him down. Here's Charles Hogan, goes to Jason Beal. Beal flagged down, dances to the outside at the 20. Takes it forward to the 16-yard line. Here's Charles Hogan, first and 20 for his club. Hands off to A.J. Lamar, left side. Cuts it back up inside to the 21-yard line. Second call it six. And he's going to hand it off to A.J. Lamar again. Lamar is going to dive to the 20-yard line. A gray, windy afternoon. Blazing Brigade trying to get these flame red and black guys fired up. Hogan's going to keep it. Then he pitches the Beal. Beal's being chased down and brought down. And a flag down. Mask against Valdosta State U. Big third down play again. We've had a pop full of them this afternoon. Hogan's going to give to A.J. Lamar. Lamar is going to bang across the 20 to the 18th. Here's Hogan under center. They 
goes straight ahead to A.J. Lamar, and Lamar is going to get the first down right at the 15-yard line. Here's Hogan, going to go to Veal. Veal's going to be hit hard in the backfield. 17 to 9, North Alabama in the lead. Lost two yards on the play. Did Veal, so it'll be second and 12 in the third quarter. Valdosta State's had only one position. Here's Hogan, wants to throw. Down the field, got a man there going to catch the ball. Touchdown, North Alabama. He was battling the Valdosta State defensive back, but he was able to win the battle. And hold this down, kick is up, and the kick is good. Here's Montrell Mitchell at the 15, to the 20, to the 25, and to the 26-yard line. A lot of late hitting in there. Here's Funderburg in the shotgun. Comes to the near side, incomplete, intended for Sean Fender at the 25-yard line. Here we're down 24 to 9. Now we need some numbers. Pumps one time, then over the middle. Got a man there going to be incomplete. Funderburg in the shotgun on third and 10. Deep drop, looking, looking. Funderburg comes to the near side. He's got Pinder at the 32, takes it to the 35-yard line. Dances along the sideline, and I think he got enough for the first down. Blazers trail at 20, 4 to 9 to the defending national champs. Funderburg wants to throw again over the middle. Got his man going to catch it. One trail at the 35 to the 28-yard line. One trail Mitchell, first down ball. That's the State University. Now we're stretching him out a bit. Funderburg in the shotgun. Wide out, three of them on the right side. He's going to throw it to his short man. Rodney Brown going to catch it at the 25 and take it to the 20 yard line. Aldusta State U inching toward that goal line at the left end of your radio dial. The VSU center in the Black Hats with a high snap. We hand off to Bontrell, takes it across the 20 to the 19. He will not get the first down. Third down and two yards to go. Valdosta State with only eight seconds to go. We go in the corner. Nico is there. Touchdown! Valdosta State U. Touchdown machine. Got Nico Cooper split wide to the left side. Looking Nico all the way. Now back over the middle to the east on Pinder. Two point conversion. Pinder cut back across the middle and caught the two point conversion pass. And the Blazers now trail 24 17 to the three time defending national champion Lions of North Alabama. Oh my, oh my, you just feel the surge of adrenaline in the stands as the all the fans here standing up, just a sea of red on the home side of the field. Valdust is state trailing. Now by a touchdown. It'll be that slot back who's been a thorn in our sides, Harry Holloway, back at the goal line. Short kick, end over end. It'll be taken at the 16-yard line, and the Lions will run it straight ahead and take it to the 31-yard line, 15-yard return. Second and 15 at the 25. And take it on the right side out to the 30 to the 35 yard line. He had Blazers just riding his back and big A.J. Lamar carrying the football again. North Alabama has the football and the lead. Blazers send four. He goes straight ahead to Lamar. He won't get it. He won't get it. Not even close. Lead man there with Jesse Sutton, but a lot more Blazers defenders there. Now the flag is down and. The officials will decipher. Carl Parker's counting the Blazers on the field. Now they're going to have a first down at the 41-yard line of UNA. 13-15 to go in the game. They hand off to Jason Beal. He's going to be snagged in the back. The flag is down and maybe a holding call against UNA. And Charles Hogan at the controls. A.J. Lamar and Jason Beal behind him. Wants to throw. Here come the Blazers. Throws it out right side. Incomplete. Intended for that slot back. Harry Holloway. Hogan under center. High formation behind it. Hogan wants to throw again. Down the right side. Going to be incomplete again. Let's stop him right here. Same offensive set. Wants to throw. Here come the Blazers. He's going to throw it out to the right side. Going to be caught by the slot back again. He's going to take it across midfield for the first down for UNA. And Harry Holloway is making a, a career out of third down passes against VSU. UNA with the football. 12.25 to go, tons of time. Valdosta State trails at 24-17. Hogan wants to throw near side. Michael Edwards going to juggle and drop the ball. 
And the reason he dropped the ball is because he took a lick from Howard Foster. Second and 10, we send a linebacker and they go to Veal out of the backfield. He cuts it up at the 40 and then dives to the 37 yard line. 11.40 to go and the crowd comes to its feet at Baysmore Heider Stadium. Hal Mummy waving his arms. He said, let's finally stop him. Hogan's gonna take it himself. Now he pitches on the outside to Veal. First down, North Alabama and a flag down. Lions lead it 24-17 with 11.29 to go in the fourth quarter. Hogan's going to give it in the backfield. Veal, he drops the football. Valdosta State has it. The Blazers have the Veal fumble headed back in the opposite direction. We spun him around and then came up with the football. Looks like Corey Reed is down there, and Reed's going to be the man who came up with the loose pigskin. Three wide outs on the right side looking to throw. Comes this side. Ball's going to be tipped. With Alabama teeing up now. Four down linemen. Did they sneak a linebacker in there? No. They're going to play back in pass coverage on the delay. We go to Vontrell. He's going to take it to the 25 and actually lost a couple of yards. Lance in the shotgun. Deep drop. Wants to throw. Got some time. Over the middle. Rodney Brown catches the ball. Stabbed him right in the chest. First down, Valdosta stick. Two wideouts, left and right. Funderburg, deep drop over the middle. Got a man, Nico, going to be incomplete. Couldn't reach out his long left arm and hang on to it. Ball's one yard shy of the 50 on the Blazers' side of the football field. Crowd on its feet. On the delay, Vontrell takes it to the 45. Vontrell to the 43-yard line. He'll be a yard short of the first down. At the 42-yard line of North Alabama. Vontrell is the lone setback. Two wideouts, left and right. North Alabama jumps off. No flag. Now it's going to throw it down the field. He's going to come to rock it at the 20 yard line and out of bounds. First down, BSU. Rodney Brown catches the ball as he was backing out of bounds right at the 20 yard line. 9.33 to go in the football game. Fresh set of bounds for the flame, red and black. Pinder and Vontrell in the backfield. Funderburg's going to be in the gun. Two wideouts, left side, looking left all the way. Got some time. Ball's going to be tipped at the line of scrimmage. Second time that's happened on this drive. In the gun. Again, Vontrell on his right. Pinder on his left. Wants to throw over the middle. He's got a rocket touchdown. Bell Dustin State University. Rodney Brown takes it into the end zone. And boy, Funderburg threw it right in there. It was absolutely picture perfect. He could not have thrown it any better. Funderburg, you've got to call this guy the high Harlan Hill trophy winner right now. Let's go ahead and give it to him. Oh, what a pass play in a dangerous situation. 24-23. Now let's tack on the PAT and tie it up. The Rocket makes the touchdown catch. It's a high snap. Now the kick is up and the kick is good. We're tied at 24. Funderburg in the shotgun, 52 yards away from taking another lead over the defending national champs. 
Takes the snap, high snap, hands off the Von Trail. Straight ahead, tries to spin and does to the 50 yard line. Seven minutes to play in the game, tied at 24. Thunderbird, deep drop, looks over the middle, gonna be incomplete, bounces it up to Rodney Brett. Thunderbird's gonna be in the gun. He's got Sean Pinter on the left, Von Trail Mitchell on the right. Deep drop, Thunderbird, time to throw, comes out to his short main three. Pinter first down, ball goes to State, down the sideline, Pinter to the 30 yard line, and out of bounds right in front of the UNA coaching staff. Oh, Sean Pinter, the lead receiver in the nation last year, just caught the biggest pass of the 1996 football season for the Blazers. Folks, in the quarterfinal round of the national playoffs, what was the final score? 24-24 in double overtime. North Alabama able to eke out a 27-24 victory. Let's get a little redemption. We hand off to Von Trail. Von Trail at the 25, to the 24-yard line, sneaks ahead to the 23. At the 23-yard line, six minutes, 10 seconds to go in the game. Looking over the middle, gonna be almost picked off by the Purple Hat. 24-24 with the defending national champs, a chance to knock them right out of the chance for the Gulf South Conference title here. We go to Von Trell. He's going to dance to the 20. First down. Valdosta State at the 19 yard line. Here's Funderburg rolling right. Looking, looking, looking. He's going to throw it down the field. Going to be a comeback route by Rodney Brown incomplete. What's Funderburg going to do with it here? Got Von Trell on the right side. He's going to give it to Von Trell. Nowhere to go. Snagged in the backfield. Game tied at 24. Third and 13 for Valdosta State. Down at the 22 yard line of North Alabama. Going to throw, got a man going to drop the ball at the 14. And here's Funderburk on fourth down. Got to get it down to the nine yard line. Funderburk wants to throw. Got a man going to throw it over his head. Blaze is going to creep the linebacker up in there. Now we back him out. Hogan's going to toss it to Veal. Veal on the option on the outside. Cuts it back to the inside at the 30 yard line. set. This time they're going to give it to Veal. Veal's going to take it flag down at the 33. They certainly are. Hogan on the option. Gives it to Veal. Veal at the 20 to the 25. Tackle around. Brad Trout makes the tackle at the 28-yard line. Under three minutes to play in a game. Tied at 24. Lines with the eye formation. Places four down linemen. Hogan with a pitch to Veal. Veal at the 25 to the 30. Veal to the outside. Push out of bounds at the 37 yard line. Here's Hogan under center. Bounds getting into it. 240 to go in the football game. This time Hogan's going to keep it himself. Goes up top and push back. The Blazers hold on third down. And the man who wrapped his arms around his stomach, Tavares. Yeah, I mean, count the people out there. Here's the kick by Tony Faggioni. A very high kick and Goff is going to fair catch it right at the 38 yard line. We're tied at 24. Under center is going to be Lance Funderburg. Funderburg's going to hand off to Von Trell. Von Trell at the 30 to the 35 to the 37 yard line. 118 to play in the football game. We go to Von Trell again. Von Trell to the near side at the 40. First down Valdez to stay. He'll stop the clock while they move the chains. Funderburg in the shotgun. And again, we go to Von Trell. Straight ahead, 45, 50, 45. First down, Valdosta State, and a flag against the Blazer. Valdosta State at its own 38-yard line. Funderburk in the shotgun. Throws to the near side of Von Trell. Going to catch it and take it to the 45-yard line of the issue. Here's the snap. Looking. Here's Funderburk. Looking down the field. Got some time. Throws it to his short man. Going to be Pinder. Going to catch it at midfield. Mike Jason Carl Parker back for the final 23 seconds of regulation. Blazers and Lions tied at 24 at Baysmore Hyder Stadium on a gray Saturday afternoon. But boy, wouldn't it jump joy into the hearts of Blazer fans everywhere if we could sneak out a victory here. We got third down and a yard to go. The ball's at the 49 yard line of North Alabama. Thunderbirds going to be under center. We're going to hand off to Von Trell, straight ahead, first down across the 40 to the 36-yard line. First down, Valdosta State. The clock will stop while they move the chain. We're tied at 24. Right now, we're going to spot it right at the 37-yard line. And Funderburg's going to spike it immediately. It'll be second and 10 for the Blazers at the 37 of North Alabama. Boy, emotion comes into it right here. Who's got the intestinal fortitude? Who's got the true grit? We know Lance Funderburg's got the arm. We know he can get it down the field, but only 15 ticks left in regulation tied at 24.
15 seconds to go, second and 10, 37 yards away, tied at 24. We go to Von Trail, straight ahead at the 30, to the 25, to the 23 yard line. Another first down for Valdosta State. The clock's got to stop and does at nine seconds to go in the football game. Got another spike coming right here. As soon as they line up, they'll start the clock and blow the whistle, and Funderburg's going to be ready as soon as he gets his men down there. Nine seconds to go in the game. Funderburg spikes it. We lose two seconds. Down to seven seconds in the football game. Tied at 24. No timeouts left for the Blazers. Crowd on its feet on both sides. Nico Cooper, Sean Penner on the left side. Rocking Rodney Brown and Terrell Andrews on the right side. Here's Funderburg in the shotgun. Clock is running. Funderburg's chased out of the pocket. Rolling left. Got to throw the football. He's going to be sacked back at the 30-yard line, and that's going to be the end of regulation. Sacked at the 30-yard line as regulation has run out. And Hal's gathering all his troops around him here and trying to get them all together and trying to explain exactly what's going to happen. Teams will get it at the 25-yard line. You'll get to keep it as long as you make first downs or until you score. Then the other team will get it at the 25-yard line. They'll get a chance to do the same. the football in overtime. They pitch to Beal on the opposite side. Beal's going to go down the sideline and into the end zone and scores. Beal takes it 25 yards on the option pitch down the left side into the end zone and scores. The hold is down, the kick is up, and the kick is good. 31-24 in overtime. Here's Funderburg. No backs, the Blazer offense. Funderburg wants to throw. Looking over the middle, going to be incomplete at the eight yard line. And a flag is down. We throw it for Vontrell Mitchell, but a flag is down. Looks like an interference call against the Purple Hats from North Alabama. We're in overtime at Baysmore Hyder Stadium. Blazers trail 31 24. We're going to go to Vontrell. He slips down, then goes straight ahead, dives to the four yard line. It'll be second and goal at the four. Here's Funderburg under center. Funderburg looks to throw into the end zone. Touchdown, Valdosta State University! Nico Cooper in the corner of the end zone. Funderburg got it right into his hands, but now we have to kick the extra point. If we don't get the extra point, then this game is over. North Alabama is going to call timeout and make Todd doubt it. Think about it. North Alabama in the lead. we got to tie it up right here. The offensive line is down and set. they got to hold them out. The snap is very important in this situation. Here's the snap, it's a good one. Here's the kick, it's up, and it is good. We're in double overtime. We're in double overtime at Baysmore Hyder Stadium, 31-31. Down, it's gotta be breathing a huge sigh of relief. Sean Pender on the left side, and you got Von Trail on the right side. Deep drop, wants to throw it. Comes out right side, gonna be intercepted by North Alabama. Intercepted by North Alabama down at the 15-yard line, and the man who picked it off was Greg Chandler, the linebacker. Blazer defense is going to have to come through big time right here. 31-31, we're in double overtime. Straight ahead, A.J. Lamar to the 22-yard line. Here's Hogan under center. Blazers send four. A.J. Lamar and Jason Beal in the backfield. Michael Edwards rides to the left side. Here's Hogan, going to be spun around straight ahead, going to be hit hard. 22 and knocked down. Third down. Charles Hogan under center. The sun has come out at Baysmore Hyder Stadium. First time all day. They go to A.J. Lamar straight ahead. He won't get the first down. Ryan Branch led the charge. Brad Trout is there. Demetrius Shelton will hold. It'll be held at the 25. It'll be a 35-yard attempt. His long of the year is 36 yards. The crowd on its feet. Here's the snap. It's a high one. Gets it down. Triple overtime. Triple over 
we're 25 yards away. All we need is a field goal. Any score on the board will count, and this game will be over. He's got Nico Cooper and Sean Fender wide to the left. He's got three wide outs on the right side. Deep drop, looking, looking. Over the middle, gonna be caught. First and 10 Blazers at the 14-yard line of North Alabama. Tied at 31 in triple overtime. Looks like they jumped off sides. We give it to Von Trell. He's going to take it to the 12-yard line. Picks up three. Looks like they jumped off sides, but no flag. We're in triple overtime. The clock does not run. The teams just get the ball on the 25 and see what they can do with it. Tied at 31. Here's Funderburk under center. Got the rocket on the right side. Got Vontrell, lone setback. Got Nico Cooper on the left side. We're going to go to Vontrell, straight up the middle. Vontrell at the five. Inside the five to the four yard line. Close to another Blazer first down. We got it down there close. Take care of the football, guys. Don't let it get away from you here. 31-31 in triple overtime. Needless to say, Valdosta State has never played a triple overtime in 15 years of play in the grand old game. We've only played one overtime game, and that was the quarterfinal round of the national playoffs against this same North Alabama team in 1994. We lost it 27-24. This one, we're right on the verge. Right on the verge, folks. Hold your breath. At home, 31-31. Third and a yard and a half at the five-yard line of North Alabama. Funderburg under center. Going to go to Vontrell. Vontrell's going to dive to the five. He will not get the first down. Now we're ready to snap the football, and snapping it for VSU is going to be Drew McPhail. McPhail down there, ready to snap it. Wayne Devane is ready to catch the snap and doubt it is ready to win this football game and North Alabama is going to call timeout. Drew McPhail is the snapper. We've got to get a good snap. Devane's got to catch it and then doubt it's got to kick it. 31-31 in triple overtime. We move our offensive line over. This is it in triple overtime. We'll doubt it hit it from 22 yards away. Here's the snap. It's a good one. Here's the kick. It's up. It is. go to 5-0 and oh on the year, but more importantly, we give the Lions their second loss in the Gulf South. North Alabama falls to 1-2 and two in the league, and still Lions are just, just exhausted, flat on their backs. They can't believe it. You see Charles Hogan looking into the stands. He can't believe what's happened on this field this afternoon. 34-31 in triple overtime. Valdosta State University beats North Alabama for the first time in the Howe Mummy era.